Hello, this is Tim DeLeon from Focus First, and this short tutorial is a quick overview of the buying pattern chart. The buying pattern chart is one of the charts that's created automatically for you when you read your export file into the visual pricing system. And this chart can be found under the neighborhood pattern section. Actually, you get two buying pattern charts, as you can see below. Now, we usually don't show both charts to customers because that's too much data. In most cases, we'd like to show the most recent one, but we do want to make sure that the graph does show a complete year. So let's take a look at this graph. At the top of the graph is a title, 2011 Buying Pattern. Right below that is a subtitle. You do get to pick the subtitle when you read in the export file, but you can change it anytime you want to. On the axis on the left, we are showing the sold price, and at the bottom axis, we're showing the calendar year. Now the dates that we show below are the close dates. If you want to figure out when they actually went under contract, generally homes take about four to six weeks to close once they go under contract. So you could back this up four to six weeks. And in most markets, it takes a couple of weeks for a house to be uh, on the market for people to find it. Of course, this could differ depending on your market. Assuming that's the case, we could shift these graphs back two months to say, here is where the sellers need to be on the market to most take advantage of this pattern. Now, what if this is October right now? As you can see, we're well past the buying season. It's not uncommon for realtors to ask us if they should show this data to their customers. Um, they're concerned that they show the data to the customer. They may not decide to list the property. They might wait to list until later in the year. My response to that is, you're probably right. They might not want to list with you. But let me ask you, if you're afraid they might not want to list with you, are you also afraid that they might list with you? Because if they do list with you, as you can see, you've just gone through a hot market and they'll be thinking that everything is, is selling today just as it was the last few weeks. And then you get six months down the road and when you didn't get their house sold, what do you think they're going to do? They'll be listing with Joe Schmo, realtor down the street. And guess what Joe will do? Yes, he will get it sold right away. And you'll be wondering, what did Joe do to get the property sold, and why couldn't you get it sold? Also, what if they do have to get it sold within the next three months, and you hadn't shown them this graph? They might be thinking that the house is going to sell very quickly, when really, that's not what's going to happen at all. By the way, just to make sure you're aware, we recommend that you do export data, and that you include all status activity for the last two years. However, to get the most accurate data, it's important that you export status activity at the start of the year. We recommend that you start including data on January the 1st of the date two years ago. So for example, if we were 2014, you would want to make sure you included data starting January 1st, 2012, no matter where you were at in 2014. Of course, it's important that you include all status activity, including withdrawn and expired properties. If you don't include data from the start of the year, it's likely that some of the data may not be complete. The buying pattern is a great help to customers to see if there's any correlation between the time of the year and when their property might get sold. It will also help them by working with you to determine the best pricing and listing strategy based on the market. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to watch some of our other videos. And don't forget to press the like button below.